just as soon as he gets off stage. He's real anxious to get home. <laughs> Mr. Williams has been an anxious man all week. What's bothering him? What makes you think something's bothering him? Well, I know Mr. Williams like a book. I always take care of him when he plays a date here in Boston. You know, I've never seen him so up in the air before. Yeah, well, he's trying to put an act together, and the writers have been slow bringing in the material, that's why. Well, that ain't so much to worry about. With him, it doesn't take much. <laughs> he worries about everything. If he didn't have anything to worry about, you know what would happen? No, what? He'd worry. Huh? <laughs> no, get the stuff in the car. Philly, did the material come? Yeah, by special delivery about oh. an hour ago. Great, great, great. I hope it's good. Oh, yeah, it's great. There's four parodies and the monologue here on about a half hour. It's just great for the Copa. Oh, wonderful. Swell. Great. Great. Boy, that Copa date, if I opened up in New York without any new material, those critics would kill me, you know? Well, this is great stuff. It's the best Jerry's ever written for you. Yeah, it ought to be. It took him long enough to finish it. You know that? Well... Every day I kept calling, Jerry, when are you going to finish it? Jerry, when are you going to finish it? I must have called him a hundred times. Maybe that's why he couldn't finish it. He was too busy answering the phone. <laughs> When you get through reading this, let me have it and I'll make some copies. Copies? You mean that's the only copy? Yeah, you know how Jerry works. No carbons, no nothing. Oh, with the money I pay him, why can't he afford a stenographer? Well, he tried working with a stenographer once. He couldn't get any work done. How come? Well, either he couldn't get any work done because he was chasing her, or he couldn't get any work done because he caught her. <laughs> very funny, but I wonder what kind of a joke you would make, buddy, if that stuff got lost in the mail. It didn't get lost in the mail. I put the bags in the car, Mr. Oh, Williams. Thank you, Norman. Oh, thank put you. Put this stuff in the car, too. Yes. Hey, Norm, really, thank you. Thank you very much for putting up with me. I, I know I give you a rough time. Here, here's a little something for you. Ten bucks? Gee, thanks, Mr. Williams, but, but really, you weren't such a bad guy. Oh, it's nice of you to say that, but I know better. I was really miserable, and you were really great to put up with me here. Yeah, here's another ten spot for you. Oh, no, honest, Mr. Williams. I, it was a pleasure to work for you. Please, don't tell me about what kind of a pleasure. Pleasure. I yelled, I screamed. I was a real miserable cuss. Here, here's another ten dollars. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Williams, I can't. I, I'm embarrassed. What embarrassed? Listen, if I were in your place, I'd have walked out on me. But I want you to know I'm not always like that. I was just that I was nervous. I was real nervous about putting this new act... Matter of fact, here... Only got 20s left. I have two tens, sir. <laughs> I love him. Gee, yeah. I hope this material is good. It's great, but don't read it now. Wait till you're home tomorrow. You feel nice and fresh, then you can read it. In the meantime, let me take charge of it. Nothing doing, buddy. I'm treating it like it was printed on gold. Are you kidding? Oh, buddy, if I lose this, I'm out of business. Hey, where are the parodies? Get them right here in my coat. Oh, great. Fun. Oh, you love this stuff. He did One a parody on a Sammy Kahn song, and he did another parody on a Harry Warren tune. Don't tell me that there's only one copy of the parodies also. Well, that's the way he works. What's the way he works? What's the matter with that guy? I thought he was my friend. How could he be so careless? He is your friend. He Some is. friend, I mean, jeopardizing my career like this. Now, come on, give me those parodies. Yeah, I'll give them to you just as soon as... <laughs> no, I had What are you doing? Watch this. Now, want to more of your practical jokes? No, this is on the level, Look, Danny. Buddy, I... uh, let's not have any comic bits. You're not getting any laughs, Philly. I had them right here. Look, I'm real nervous about my Copa opening. Don't fool around. Danny, I'm sorry. They're lost. Oh, you, 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 don't, you, you, don't, you don't mean it. I, I know you don't mean it. Of course you don't mean it. Say, say you don't mean it. You don't... <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't got them. What do you mean you haven't got them? I mean I haven't got them. What do you mean you mean you haven't got them? What do you mean what do I mean I haven't got them? I mean I haven't got them. That's what I mean. How could you be so careless? How could you lose something so valuable? Well, things like that happen. People have accidents. People have accidents because they want to have accidents. And just what are you suggesting? That I wanted to lose the stuff? I'm not suggesting it. I'm saying it. <laughs> well, I always thought you were half-baked. Now I find out they never even put you in the oven. <laughs> Look, wise guy, you ever hear of accident-prone people? People have them because they want to have them. They forget things because they want to forget them. They lose things because they want to lose them. If you read some psychology books once in a while, you know what I mean. What do you mean? Come on, level with me, Phil. When did you start hating me? <laughs> no, come on, come on, when did it happen? When did your affection for me turn to bitterness? Come on, level. Okay, I'll level with you. When I found out we were both in love with Ma Perkins after she threw over young Dr. Malone. Oh, God! <laughs> Real funny man, you and your jokes. Listen who's talking about jokes. Put that psychology of speech of yours to music, you won't need parodies. You get plenty of laughs. Yeah, I get a laugh for you. 
If you've lost those parodies, buddy, you've lost me as a client. I should be so lucky. <laughs> Is that so? Mm. Well, then you're fired. You're fired. I said it first. Why, no, <laughs> naturally. Furthermore, I just don't understand you. How you could act that way to Phil, who's done so much for you. Aside from him being your best friend. Will you please all get off my back? Some best friend loses my parodies I'm opening next Wednesday with half an act. All I got is a monologue. Uh, what do you want me to do, kiss him? We all love Phil, and so do you. Oh, there was no reason for a silly, unimportant argument to go so far, and you should be a big enough man to admit you were wrong. You think I was wrong? Yes, so do I. <laughs> Would you like to cast your vote? Guilty. <laughs> it's not a family, it's a grand jury. What are you, another witness for the prosecution? <laughs> I'm just trying to find out what the district attorney would like for dinner. I'll be with you in a minute, Louise. I'll be waiting in the kitchen until the court is adjourned. <laughs> You're lucky I ain't on the jury. <laughs> I can't understand why nobody sees my side of this thing. Daddy? Remember the time I had that big fight with Buster Collins because he lost my skate key? What about it? Remember? You made me make up with him. You said a friendship shouldn't be broken up over such a petty thing. Don't you believe that anymore? Yes, I believe in it. And the first time Phil broke our loses my skate key, I'll forgive him. <laughs> my songs never. I'll get it. If that's Phil, I'm not here. Understand, Russ? I don't want to talk to him. Hello? Yes? Who? Daddy, do you know a Harry Thompson? What? Do you know a Harry Thompson? Let me talk to him. Hello, Mr. Thompson? Who? It's Phil! <laughs> I thought you told me it was Harry Thompson. No, I didn't. I just asked if you knew a Harry Thompson. <laughs> She's doing fine. Tell him off. It was unforgivable, and you ruined Daddy's whole career, and we're all on your side. What? <laughs> okay, I think this wraps it up. Well, that closes the Danny Williams file. There's nothing left in this office that belongs to him. I'll send this Rembrandt back, too. With that nose out of the office, the whole place looks bigger. Phil? Oh, hello, Kathy. Hello, Mrs. Williams. Oh, hello, Myrna. I'll take care of this, Mother. Yes, sir. Phil, I, I came to see if there was anything I could do. Well, yes, there is something you could do. You can send for this stuff and get it out of here as fast as you can. Phil, it's such a pity just because you lost a few songs. I got a flash for you, Kathy. I didn't lose a few songs. You didn't? No. That's what I called up to tell him, but the big man wouldn't talk to me. When I came home last night, I looked in my sport jacket, and there it was. Here they are, the parodies. Give them to him with my compliments. Take good care of them. That's the only copy. Oh, that's just wonderful, Phil. Now you have nothing to fight about. After the things he said to me? Phil, you of all people should understand Danny. You know, he has one weak spot. Yeah, his head. <laughs> you know, I mean about like, carelessness. It's because he was so poor when he was a child. Losing something was a tragedy. Oh, Phil, you, you've just got to make up with him. When he gets down on his knees and apologizes. You wouldn't make Danny get down on his knee. Oh, no, I'd give him a pillow to kneel on. Come on, don't be so vindictive. Danny needs you. He'll get along without me. And you need him. Danny's your biggest client. I'll find somebody else. Don't worry about me. Someplace in this world, there must be just one more loudmouth, hook-nosed Lebanese. <laughs> Some guy who can tell a great joke and sing up a storm better than anyone else in the whole world. Well, whenever you change your mind, Phil, there'll be a light in the window. Rusty, you know better than to try to do your homework and watch television at the same time. 
It just can't be done. Well, that's what we keep telling our teacher. <laughs> she gives us homework anyway. Well, there's enough television for right now. Your daddy keeps on saying the noise bothers him. So now you all just sit around here. Turn around there a little. Mm -hmm. Miss Williams! What's the trouble? Well, it makes you think there's something the matter. Well, we just saw a horror movie where a man was swallowed by a monster. And he looked happier than you do. <laughs> oh, Miss Williams, now what is the matter? Oh, nothing, Louise. It's just that... Well, somewhere I, I lost my pocketbook. Your pocketbook? Yeah. What was in it? What did you lose? Oh, just two dollars, four new song parodies, and one perfectly good husband. Oh. <laughs> copy of his new songs. What am I going to tell him? Don't tell him anything. Write him from Mexico. <laughs> Thanks. You're a big help. Honey, you just got to face the music. How can she? She's lost it. <laughs> this time, whatever Danny does, whatever he decides to do, he, he'll be perfectly right, no matter what. Honey, I think I'll take a... Run down town. Maybe I can find a guy that wrote those parodies. Maybe he remembers the line. To... What'd you do? Change the bulbs in here or something? You put green lights in? You look sick. <laughs> Honey, there, there's something I, I just have to tell you. What do you have to tell me? Linda, you better go. You're too young to see this. <laughs> Come to see what? Yes, I, I think, Louise, you, you all better go, huh? All right. Come on, children. Come on. What do you want to tell me, honey? Danny, I... Oh, Danny! I love her. You're trembling. Hey. Oh, you don't have to tell me. It's written all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, darling. Darling, <laughs> darling, please. What? I, I know what you're thinking, but it's not so. You're the one who should sit down. Me? Yes. Oh, oh, Danny, you know how interested I've always been in your career and absolutely everything you do. Yes, darling. Yes. Well, I, I wanted to bring you and Phil together, so I, I, I went to see him. You went to see him? Yeah. You, you know, he's still very mad at you. And that's what you want to tell me? No, honey, well, then, but... Well, what is it you want to tell me? Well, he, he gave me some things that belong to you, and... Oh, Danny, I love you very much. Honey, will you stop with the weather reports? Get on with the news. <laughs> well, you, you see, Phil found your songs. He found them? Yes, yes, and he gave them to me. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Give them to me, give them to me. Oh, honey, this please is let me finish my story. Oh, okay, can't you finish the story after you give me the song? No. Well, okay, can't you tell me the story while you give me the song? No, darling, but, no. But, 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 no, I can't. Listen, the, 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 the songs were in an envelope, yeah? and I put the envelope into my purse. Uh-huh. And then I, 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 I went shopping, and I... I Where are you going? I, Oh, Daddy, you just got to believe me. What is it? What is it? What's yes. it? Please, what? Please, please, please. It was an accident. What, 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 what was an accident? Oh, it was an accident. You, 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 went, you, you went shopping and you took the bus home. Yes, when I got home, it was missing. When you got home, you noticed the bus was missing? <laughs> oh, my purse. Oh, your purse. Yes. Your purse is missing. So is that something to cry about? Yes. Your purse. <laughs> are in the purse. Oh, they're lost again. Oh, oh Danny, I oh. just wanted to help Kathy, you. Kathy, Kathy. Oh, Danny, what can I say? Don't say anything. When you said I do, that was enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Well, honey, honey, maybe you didn't put the songs in your purse. Maybe you put them in your pocket. No, darling. They, they were in an envelope, and we put the envelope into my purse. Uh, 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 are you sure you didn't put them in your pocket? I know sweetheart? I didn't put them in my pocket. Uh, uh, how do you know? I was afraid I'd lose them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, look in your pockets anyway, honey. Look honey, and see. I didn't, but it will make you feel any better. I'll look in my pockets. There, see? Look again. <laughs> 
just showed you. Well, well, did you look in all your pockets? There are only two pockets in this coat, and besides, I didn't put them in my pockets. I put them in my purse. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of putting important things like that in your purse. We should put them in your pocket. <laughs> What's the difference? There's a lot of difference. People lose their purses. Nobody ever lost a pocket. <laughs> Hundreds of purses are turned into the police department, but never in the history of lost and found has there ever been one pocket turned in. Ever. <laughs> Did you call the police? I just got home. How could I? Oh, for heaven's sake. Hello, Marge. Marge, get me the police department, will you? If I don't find that material, I'm not opening it oh, to Copa. No. I'm not going to open those. Critics will murder me. If I, hello? Hello? Uh, lost and found, please. How could you be so careless with Look in your pockets, will you? Honey? <laughs> hello? Uh, hello? I'd, I'd like to report a, a missing purse. My, my wife lost a purse. Uh, what? You have? Oh, just a minute. Uh, 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 was it a blue suede? No, no, no. No, no, it wasn't. No. Uh, a, a straw carry-all? No. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, uh, black alligator, long straw. No! Star. No, it wasn't that. That's it, huh? Oh? Uh, yeah, thanks. Wise guy. Oh, what did he say, honey? Just call back tomorrow and I'll have a better selection. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the city needs is more funny cops. Honey, are you sure you looked everywhere? Look in your pockets again, oh, honey. I looked, I looked. Holy smokes, baby. Look, let's look at this thing logically, will you, please? Now, don't get excited. Let's try to reconstruct the day, honey. Yeah. We'll reconstruct the whole day, huh, sweetheart? Oh, now, what did you honey, do when you left Phil's? He gave you the envelope. I can't. I'm too upset. Honey, please, darling. You just try to recreate the day. Try to relive it. I'll help you, baby. I'll help you. Now, what did you do? What did you do when you left Phil's? Well, where did you go first, baby? Where did you go? I, 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 I went to the bank. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, the bank. Yeah, the uh, bank. You're in the bank now. Yeah. Okay, Well, I was downtown anyway. Honey, I don't care why you went. Just make it easy. <laughs> All right, you're in the bank. Yeah. Look, I'm the teller. Well, okay. <laughs> well, good morning, Mrs. Collins. Oh, good morning. <laughs> honey, I, uh, I'm talking I... to Mrs. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be Mrs. Collins. Now, honey, you're not Mrs. Collins. You're you. Everything is real. You're you. I'm just trying to set a scene for you. Okay? okay. I'm okay. great. Well, how do you do, Mrs. Cosgrove? Uh, how do you do? I Honey, you're not Mrs. Cosgrove. <laughs> well, who are these people? I don't know. <laughs> I set a scene for you, baby. Now, please. Now, okay. we'll try it again. All right. Okay, good morning, Mrs. Williams. I is that supposed to be oh, me? Oh, I'm a... <laughs> with the game. Let's not make a game of it. Okay, okay. Oh, hello, Mrs. Williams. What can I do for you? Oh, hello. I, I would like to make a deposit. A deposit? Yes, yes ma'am. I'll take care of it right away. See, that's a very valuable-looking envelope you have in your purse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be safer in your pocket? <laughs> Well, he should have said it. Bankers know better than to be careless. Oh, honey, I didn't leave it in the bank. Are we through playing games? No, we're not through playing games. I'm trying to reconstruct the day for you. Where did you go after the bank? Oh, I, I went to the supermarket. I bought some vegetables. Supermarket? Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. Supermarket. Hey, well, that's a nice order you got here, Mr. Williams, and my show. Yeah, we got a good bunch of character. We got a nine pound of beans, oh, please. Please, no squeeze of the eggplant, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be two dollars seven if I cent. Oh, I have the change right here in my purse. Oh, I say, that's a valuable-looking envelope you got in your purse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more safe in your pocket? He never did that! <laughs> and I didn't leave it in the supermarket. Okay, okay, baby, where did you go after the supermarket? I came home on the bus. The bus? Yes. Yeah. All right, step to the rear now. <laughs> Watch your step, lady. Careful, well, would you mind opening your purse and paying the fare, please? I don't have to open my purse. I have the change right here in my hand. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, you dropped your purse. My, what a valuable-looking envelope. <laughs> Wouldn't it be safer in your pocket? <laughs> and will you stop it, Danny? I'm sorry I lost the song. It was just one of those what do you mean, one of those things? Three people warned you to be careful. What? The bank and the clerk and the bus driver. Oh, no. He never said all those things. You said them. 
careless people. First Phil and now you. Intelligent people don't lose things. So I do. Look in your pockets again, will you? Well, hello, Mr. Williams. Hi. Your wife left the purse in the store, so I the thought purse. I'd bring it up. You know, she shouldn't worry about it. It's here. Glory be, it's here. Something real important, huh? Oh, real important. Only half of my nightclub act, that's all. You oh. saved my life, buddy. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? You deserve a reward for this kid. Oh, thanks. You're gonna get the heaviest tip you ever got since you were 12 years old. I'm... Thanks, mister. <laughs> What's the matter? You, look... you lose something? I think I lost my wallet. Well, look in your pockets. <laughs> Well, look again. What? Look again. Don't you stop with me. Kathy, the wallet. The wallet, it's gone. The wallet and the monologue is in the wallet. I'm back to half an act again. Her hair was golden bright, but all the roots turned black at night. It's magic. <laughs> oh, this one, this one is really cute. Listen. She won't eat fish or meat. To her lettuce is a treat. She's getting to be a rabbit with me. <laughs> How I wish I were dead. My wife brings celery to bed. She's getting to be a rabbit. You do so. Oh, oh Johnny, those are really cute parodies. Yeah, I don't know what I'm laughing about. I still got only half an act. If I could only find that wallet with the monologue in it. Honey, that's Phil. But do I have to go through with this? Yes, you do have to go through with it. Hi, Kathy, what's Hi. the emergency? Oh, well, there's no emergency, Phil. Well, my secretary tells me you called up. You said I should get right over. I dropped everything. Yes, well, you see, uh, Danny wants to talk to you. Oh, sorry, Danny talked to me quite enough. Now, if you'll oh, excuse... Oh, shut up and stop acting like a child. You are just as bad as he is. Now, come over here. All right, Mr. Williams, you're on. <laughs> well, let's forget the whole thing, huh? <laughs> All right, I, I'm very sorry for what I did. I apologize. Forgive me? I apologize, isn't that enough? <laughs> yeah. You're right, it isn't enough. I jumped at you like a rattlesnake, and I figure I can heal the wounds with a few words. I accused you of being careless for something that was important to me when actually I was the one who was careless. I, I lost something that was more important, my sense of values. But believe me, Phil, I, I know now that a thousand new routines isn't worth one good old friendship. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will not! I... <laughs> okay, I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> Welcome back. I never really was away. <laughs> well, in that case, here's your contract back. Oh. Well, in that case, here's your wallet back. <laughs> <laughs> 